hi guys welcome back to another video hope you guys are all doing good and well as usual so in today's video i'm going to be doing my first haul of the year i decided to limit my purchases as i mentioned in my black friday haul which is my last haul that i showed you guys um just going through my untrieds and you know i've gotten through uh not a lot of them but you know I'm getting there I've gotten through about 12 this year so no I think a lot more than that actually maybe about 19 so not too shabby so this is why I decided to group the last three months into one video because I haven't been making too many purchases in January I only made one purchase and in February I made about seven all indies and then March was very mainstream heavy matte matte polish heavy very weird and then yeah and now we're into april so um here we go and i did make a few more indies in march and then i did find a lemming at the end of march too which i'm saving for the end of the video so let's just get into it so starting with january the first and only polish i picked up was pacific blue the original version sally hansen i got this from the same person that destashed me zombie zest i did film a video on this doing a bit of comparisons with other blues that i purchased in lieu of not having this so i'll link that up in the cards for you guys but yeah this is my one and only polish that i purchased pretty good fine for the first polish purchase of this year not too shabby i haven't tried this one yet but it is definitely on my list on my rack there to try guys <laughs> i've um this is definitely going to be a, a polish that i wear in the summertime blues are just ubiquitous in the summertime for me i really love them so that was sally hansen specific blue the next four are from cuticula so i'm going to share the first three with you guys these this is from the shattered fantasy collection and i absolutely love mermaid polishes so this whole collection is up my alley but um i'm not one to purchase whole collections if i'm not feeling the whole thing so i did pick out the ones that spoke to me the most and the first one that i did get is mermaid barrage it's a deep jelly flaky oh so gorgeous you guys ever since cuticle released dragon glass in august's la last um august's ppu absolutely i'm obsessed with getting flakies from the brand they're gorgeous and the next one i picked up is cursed forest another very mermaid polish absolutely love this one and i cannot wait to try it definitely gonna put it on my summer rack and the third one from that collection is Flames of a Phoenix, this, which actually stopped me from purchasing Chip Chip Hooray because I knew I wanted a flaky with a more of a red base from the brand instead of a berry tone one, which I believe Chip Chip Hooray was. Um, but yes, this one is really pretty and I can't wait to get it on my nails. I don't have a lot of red flakies in my collection, so this one is very unique and I'm loving it. Last one from Cuticula is a pink jelly that actually came in um, a bunch of assorted flavors or flavors scents but um I just got the unscented ones this is called spun sugar sorbet I decided that I really would like jelly polishes in every color because I love doing jelly sandwiches with them and this one is beautiful the formula on it is really really nice as well as jellies can be a bit tricky because they're so sheer but that's the point of them but this one is rare to find ones with good formulas but I do like this one and I really do want to experiment with jelly sandwiches with it so yeah that was spun sugar sorbet the next one that I picked up is from Fair Maiden Polish. This is called Poppy. I love how bright and vibrant this is. This has a really strong pink shimmer in it as well, accompanied with a little bit of green and yellow as well. Really interesting polish. It's pretty sheer when I did a swatch on my swatch stick. So I think this is going to take about three coats, but my nails are short right now. Ugh. Ugh. And um, yeah, so I think this will only take about two, but I'm a swatch stick since it's care took about three. But this came in a trio. It's called In the Garden Trio. I'm not sure what the other two look like, but I really liked this one. Um, I think it's really, really nice for the summertime too. I had a lot of summertime polishes too. Can't wait to try them. So that was Fair Maiden's Poppy. And the last two I picked up are from Crystal Design, which is a Canadian indie brand sold on Etsy. This is her Periwinkle Duo for the Pantone color of the year. I did swatch these with my own Pantone picks, also link that video up for you guys. But I really loved these two. The only um, thing that I would have loved to see more of is more Flakies and Neptune Bloom. But I really love sandy looking blues for the summertime, like denim, like denim jean blues. Oh, that just like, like 
oh it's this polish is just no words i really really like this one and i can't wait to wear it again these are only two that i've tried out of the ones that i picked up but um yeah really really loved these two and that was my last purchase for february but moving right along into march i picked up a lot of mainstream brands as i did um you know didn't see a lot of indies that i really wanted so the first six that i picked up are from revlon revlon came out with a super interesting matte collection it was a seven piece collection but i only picked up about five of them and they tried to a very interesting matte finish which i was not expecting so um the first one is called catnip which is a like a light like mint green sage color that has a silver shimmer in it second one is called catnip very very pretty it's like a ugly pretty <laughs> and the next one is called rem which is a mauve color next one is called nightcap which is a berry toned matte color and then the fifth one is a denim blue midnight color called Daybreak. So very interesting. I think I'm going to pick up the other two. The other two is like a like a baby pink. And then um, I think the other one was like a baby blue. So yeah, but really interesting collection. And this is definitely my favorite, favorite purchase of this whole entire haul. This is Revlon's Divine, which I think is a pretty close dupe, maybe for Wildfowl Lacquer Slug Bug. This one is a deep, deep, like metallic looking, like cherry toned blackened red. It's beautiful, you guys. I couldn't even believe this was a Revlon polish. I was like, wow. As soon as I saw it in the bottle, I was like, gorgeous. And then I swatched it on a swatch wheel. I was like, this reminds me of Slug Bug. I was thinking of purchasing it to, you know, um, do a comparison, but when I already have this one and, you know, um, shipping is not cheap when it comes to the States, I was thinking of possibly skipping on it, but we'll see. But that was Revlon's Divine. Next one up is another matte that I picked up. This is China Glaze's Hex Boyfriend. I loved this polish when it came out. I don't have any type of greens like this in my collection. It's like a Slytherin matte green. Oh, this is beautiful you guys looks like like red like green crushed velvet on your nails it looks so slick and smooth on my swatch anyways that i saw like this is a beautiful beautiful polish um the formula is a bit goopy but it does apply better than i've seen it swatched which is really really nice so i haven't tried this one yet but it's definitely on my list can't wait so that was hex boyfriend by china glaze and the last polish well, mainstream polish that I picked up was Simple Colors Coffee Drip. I found the whole entire Essential Chills collection except for um, uh, the matcha one, the exclusive one to Walmart. So, so matcha better, I think it was. But I don't think I'm going to find that one because that's probably exclusive to the States, the Walmart in the States. But I did pick up Coffee Drip. I love bronzy looking browns like this which is why i really really wanted bronze ambition by china days in my collection but i'm happy to say these those two are not a, aren't dupes so that's pretty nice i like that um but yeah i may go back and pick up more of the essential chills collection but this is the only one that i was really speaking to me so we'll see but that was simple colors coffee drip and we're just going to slide into the last mainstreams that I bought for the month of March. So I did purchase off nail stuff and it did arrive today, which is why I'm happy about filming this video because everything came today. So the first two I got are from Starly and the first one is called Bean Toes. I love this one. It's such a soft, delicate white with a really strong, strong pink shimmer in there, you guys. This is gorgeous gorgeous i think it's good for any t time of the year i love white nail polish i love especially love white polish with shimmer in it this is just really pretty you guys really love this one next one up is another one called catnip this is so funny because i was actually planning to do a video where i compare polishes that have the same names in my collection and figure out which polish did it better <laughs> if you guys are interested in that i can definitely do that but um funny how i bought two polishes with the same name so yeah these are both called catnip I don't really know when you look at catnip, I don't really know what to think of it. Um, but um, yeah, that's why I thought that'd be an interesting video to do. But um, yeah, this is Starly's catnip. Very pretty. It is a light minty green. I thought it would be a bit darker, but um, I'm 
happy with the tone of the base of the polish with a really strong coppery um, orange shimmer very nice so those are two I got from Starly. The next three I got from Cadillacer. This is Cadillacer's Rainy Zerk. I've wanted this thermal for a very long time. I have a love-hate relationship with thermals because of their longevity, but I find Cadillacer's qualities of thermals are quite nice. So this one I definitely had to pick up. I don't really swatch thermals on swatch sticks just kind of swatch them on my nails so you know when they start misbehaving and grow again i'm definitely going to swatch that one but that was rainy zurich next one is called poltergeist which came out in the halloween collection last year this one i've wanted for a long time um it's a i'm happy to say this isn't too bright of an orange it's more of a dusty burnt orange with those beautiful purple metallic um glitters in there very very pretty love this polish next one i picked up was from cadillacer spring collection this was called wait for me um this reminds me of a flaky i wanted from bees knees lacquers called it was something about a clown reference it was like clown me or something like that but i find bees knees lacquer polishes are impossible to get not impossible but just very very you got to be on the ball and i'm usually not um <laughs> I don't like to get too, um, you know, crazy about nail polish because it gives me a bit of anxiety and I just, you know, don't want to feel like I'm missing out on FOMO because there will be other polishes. But anyway, <laughs> this one, exactly why I had to wait out, it's pretty much a dupe for that polish. I absolutely love the strong red shimmer in there, which is what attracted me to this. This reminds me of, you know, winter, like winter and fall in a bottle. This is a great transition shade. Love it. So that was Cadillacer's Wait For Me. And the last one in my nail stuff order what is from Dimension Nails. I've wanted this one for so long. It's called African Lion. It's a super interesting, like golden yellow. Oh, this is beautiful, you guys. It has this silver shimmer in it as well. Very, very gorgeous. Um, I do have another video about why I bought this polish, but I'm not going to tell you guys right now because it's for another video, which you have to stay tuned for. But yeah, I definitely bought this polish for specific reasons, so stay tuned for that. But that was African Lion by Dimension Nails. And the last one that I purchased, you guys, I'm so excited to show you guys this. Someone happened to de stash Cuticula's Dreams Take Flight, which was one of my lemmings. <laughs> I wanted this polish for a year now, ever since it came out on Polish Pickup March 2021. This was based on a butterfly, and I missed out because I was on an insane no buy, but that's not happening this year. I pull myself, uh, that's not happening, and it's really not happening because I'm not even make a pot. Uh, purchase from PPU considering that this is one of my lemmings and it might not even be voted back from Cuticula as you know a rewind is based on votes so oh, I'm so excited for this one super super excited to try it and it I think this is just going to become one of the most unique polishes in my collection and that's kind of what holds me off from purchasing because I was going to purchase from um this past PPU April but I decided I only wanted a few and you know Someone made these stash it that doesn't want it, which happened with this one, so I do have faith. <laughs> but that was the last polish I bought in March, Cuticular's Dreams Take Flight. All right, guys, that was it for this haul. Let me know what you thought and let me know what you bought during these last few months or if you're just limiting your polishes or wherever you're signing to do, getting through your untrieds, all that jazz. Thanks so much for watching. I always appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Take care.